This is the process of thinning the hides or shaving the hides during the pickling process. I've got a whole pile of elk hides that I've got to thin down and the process that I'm using is what's called a round knife or shaving wheel. The wheel has a rolled edge on it and I'm pulling the hide from left to right over the wheel. Uh, this particular wheel does not have a guard on it and so you got to be a little bit more careful on it that you don't cut through the hide. It's razor sharp. It really requires a lot of eye to hand coordination to make sure that you know, you're not going to cut through the, the hide or cut it too thin. I fold the hide kind of like an accordion so that I can keep going from top to bottom. I usually start at the neck area, go all the way around the hide along the edges, then I'll go back, start at the neck again, and work my way up and down uh, towards the back of the hide. How much I take off at one swipe really depends on how sharp the wheel is or what particular area of the hide that I happen to be working on. The neck and the butt are two of the most uh, thick areas that you really have to shave down. Now I'm just tuning up the wheel by putting one steel under it and one over it to sharpen it, keep it razor sharp. You probably wonder why I have a TV in front of me with a VHS player. It's because I get so bored shaving these sometimes that I'll just put on a set of headphones and I kind of listen to a movie, half watch a little bit while I'm shaving. When you get really good, you can do this. Here we're just about finishing up here. All the fleshings just drop down into a bucket and then I just discard them. I wish I had a an idea on what to do with all of them but I haven't found it yet. So I'm just about finishing up the end here and gonna go over the back end of it and it'll be finished. Sometimes you have to shave it more than once but usually elk just require one shaving. The thicker bowls require two.